Hi. Um, in this episode, I'm, talk, I'm trying to talk about um, mushrooms. Mushrooms uh, are very important in our ecosystem. So if you see nothing, no mushrooms in your field, that means your field has a lack of dead organic matter. So the more dead organic matter you have, the more mushrooms will be grown in your field naturally. So here I have two experiments that I've done. Um, I bought some uh, shiitake mushroom plucks a couple of weeks ago, then, and I'm, I'm so busy doing these kind of experiments. Um, see, this is um, fully sterilized rice grain plus coffee ground and gypsum. Uh, but the sterilization was, uh, was, was done by uh, boiling water to 100 degrees Celsius, 180 degrees Fahrenheit. I also have a field here that was also sterilized by alcohol. So I used to make wine, rice wine, uh, grape wine, and so on and so forth. I used to ex I used exactly the same method, but then I end up with a lot of molds, black mold, green mold. Of course, the mushroom is still growing, uh, it's, but it's, the entire thing is contaminated. Now I'm interested in see in seeing which species will eventually dominate. Uh, in in the case of wine, there's no such problem because wine is um, like uh, especially uh, when you talk about great wine uh, it's done by the brewing is done by something called the wine yeast so it's yeast not fungus like uh, black mold or, or mushrooms that dominates uh, in the culture so uh, eventually you don't see something like this okay but what's the reason well, the reason is because yeast will secrete something called ethanol, the alcohol that you consume. And the alcohol will suppress the development of mold. They'll, they'll kill all the molds. So uh, it's self-sterilization in some sense. But mushroom is using a diff very different strat strategy. They, apparently, they, they cannot secrete anything like uh, ethanol or anything. Molds, on the other hand, uh, they are able to secrete something to kill bacteria and to suppress other forms of life, uh, microorganisms. I think penicillin, penicillin, whatever that is. I'm not a biologist, so. Uh, so I'm interested in seeing what happens next. Why do we have the, the problem here? Well, some people think that, well, because rice is too nutritious. Is rice nutritious? Yes and no. To humans, rice is nutritious because we have the enzyme to digest rice. Uh, but to fungus, it's <laughs> they are the same. It's like I have a piece of cardboard here. I'm I'm going to show show you the next result, the the other result very soon. Cardboard is it nutritious? Well, to humans, it's garbage. I mean, do you eat cardboard? No. And why do why don't why don't we eat cardboard? Well, the simple reason is we do not have the enzyme to digest it. We if we have the enzyme to digest cardboard, of course we are. We are crazy about cardboards. We eat cardboard every single day, but that's not true because we don't have the enzyme. Uh, but mushrooms, they possess the enzyme to digest wood fiber. Cardboard, paper, they're nothing more than wood fiber. Wood fiber is what? Wood fiber is cellulose, cellulose complex. It's, com it's composed of cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. And lignin is very difficult to digest because it's just bark. Right, but it's not simple bark because it's a combination of three things chained up together to form a chain, which is called wood fiber. So it's, just, it's difficult to digest by humans or by, even by molds. So molds can digest what? Molds can digest complex carbohydrates like rice. Yeast does not have the ability. So when you make rice wine, you don't just add yeast. You add yeast plus some enzyme or plus some other thing. Or plus some maybe some... Uh, I don't know, some other fungus. Uh, so the other experiment is, is here. I did exactly the same kind of sterilization. I, in fact, I don't, I don't even have any filter. Can you see the result? See, this is a very good colonization by, by mushrooms. So you see the plucks inside here? See, they originated from inside. Now it's almost 
engulfed, the entire thing is almost engulfed by uh, like shiitake mushrooms. And the reason is because shiitake mushrooms and other mushrooms, they have the ability to digest cardboard. As, as I've said, cardboard is nothing more than wood fiber. They, has, they have the enzyme to digest wood fiber. That's why, to them, it is very nutritious. And why do I want to talk about mushrooms in natural farming? See, I have a lot of grass. See the outside? You probably don't see it. The north lot, the north lot was uh, leased to the, um, to the grass grower opposite, on the opposite side of Highway 99. So now I have a problem. I have annual rye grass, so I need to let them self-seed. But because I'm letting them to self-seed, I end up with a lot of voles because voles like to eat fresh annual rye grass plus the seeds. Oh, but you know what? <laughs> Nature is very strange because whenever you have a lot of voles, you have the, the predators coming. So I, I, I'm starting to see a lot of snakes. So eventually snakes will be able to wipe out the, well, at, at least they don't, I don't think they will wipe out the entire bull population, but they will suppress the bull population. But that's not the point. The point is, I have a lot of straws for free. See, the entire north lot is one acre of straw. <laughs> Uh, I don't mow the lawn. I don't mow. I, I don't mow them. I don't. I never mow them down. Uh, what I do is to just simply uh, use some pellet to press them down to the ground, so that eventually the ground is covered by straw. And a good point, uh, a good thing about this is straw will absorb a lot of water. So in summertime, even though I have very low relative humidity outside, because of the straw, the straw is protecting the ground. But now, I have another problem. If I have a lot of straw, what I see, I, I'm starting to see mushrooms, but then I'm not sure whether those mushrooms are edible. So what I'm doing is, <coughs> what we're trying to do is to, <coughs> is to um, inoculate the straws in the north lot naturally, so that uh, the edible mushrooms will, will pop up, and I, I don't need to do anything. I just um, spread something like the spawn, Got to spawn like this, all over the place. So, so eventually I'll just do a lot of this, these, and then I, um, and then uh, in fall when it starts to rain, I'll spread all these to the north lot, and eventually, hopefully, I'll end up with a lot of free mushrooms that I can consume. If I cannot consume all of them, I'll just sell them. If I cannot sell them, I'll give them to my neighbors. That's all. Okay, thank you very much. I'm signing off. See you next time. Bye.